Let's move on here to another match. We have Damage Control Oscar, Kari Sane, and Dakota Kai versus Bianca Belair, the new the new upstart, Jay Cargill, and Naomi. What do you guys think about this? Uh, Jay Cargill just recently debuting on SmackDown uh, two weeks ago, coming out, taking out Damage Control, basically aligning herself with Belair and Naomi in this fight against Damage Control. Uh, what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about damage control's aspect in this? And overall, who's going to win? All right. Louis, let me go first on this because uh, because when I saw the uh, segment, okay, first of all, let, let's talk about talk about Jade first. She's going to be she's going to be money for them, especially with her entrance. I mean, they essentially took they essentially took um AEW's entrance with Sting with the with the with the winner is coming and everything. And pretty much, and pretty much, <laughs> pretty much re- reconfigured it, re- reconfigured it for, for for Jade. I mean that ent- that entrance is, is, is simply I, I can't even, I can't even describe it because she it's such a good great entrance for for a star of her caliber. And then coming out at the end of, coming out at the end of the show, when she took all three of them out, and then Bianca and Naomi stood up and they walked beside her, <laughs> I legit screamed out, "Avengers assemble!" <laughs> <laughs> And be, 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 because you see the three of them together, and then and then WW and then WWE's Instagram page put up the photo of all three of them pointing at the sign, and I, and, I, and, and it further established that. I mean these, I mean these three women. I mean I don't even need to go into uh, m- much about about Bianca and Naomi because they they, they speak for themselves. Um, I think as far as damage controls, damage controls as, aspect of it goes. Um, I mean, obviously, they still want to, you know, maintain that, maintain their their dominance. I mean, personally, I would have loved to see a, a uh, women's tag team, women's tag team match, especially when you look at this card and there's only three, technically only three women's matches. I would have loved to see actually some <laughs> stake, another a third women's match that actually had stakes to it with the titles on the line. But uh, the fact that we're actually getting a uh, uh, Jade in her debut match, and obviously. You know Naomi coming back from it, coming back from Impact. I know we've kind of been, you know, critical, critical about how she's been booked so booked so far, so far. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is definitely a great opportunity for her and Bianca. And Bianca is Bianca. We don't even need to get in, get in, get in, get into her. But um, obviously, based upon the, the way this match put, is pulled out and the fact that Jade is the uh, this is going to be her her first match, which actually says a lot that her first official her first official match is going to be at WrestleMania. Granted, it's a six woman tag. But still, it's go- she's going to be properly featured. So because of that, I, I got to go with the Avengers on this one. <laughs> so for me, I am I, am, you know, I think we all know who's winning this match. Yeah. But there are high stakes in terms of Jade needs to show out mm-hmm. because she has not been on TV. She she did not get. The AEW treatment of just you know, just having matches to have matches. I'm really hoping that all this this time that she's been off TV, she has been training, she has mm-hmm. been working on her craft, been getting trained by the best. I am expecting some high caliber wrestling from her because you, if if it's not, this is gonna be kind of like crickets. Okay, now, when, now when you say high caliber wrestling. What do you what do you mean by that? I just mean she but it, she can't. Are we talking a, Rhea Ripley and Charlotte at WrestleMania 39, or are we just talking China? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I want to say she's gonna be like full master class, but mm-hmm. it's been how long that she's been signed, and you know she only had the Rumble appearance, and mm-hmm. the, all the other stuff has just been backstage segment, segments, and everybody's been like, "Where's Jade? Where's Jade?" Mm-hmm. You know, we're I think we're all assuming that she, you know, she's training, getting ready, you know, trying to be prepared. I'm just saying I better not be no like um what's her name? Maxine Dupree <laughs> scenarios or any like terrible timing and stuff like that. Because if it is, it's gonna be a giant flop. And it and worse, it'll make Bianca and Naomi look bad as well. Because Lewis. she's also going against Asuka, Kyrie, and Dakota. Who obviously are all established wrestlers as well. You know, it's not like you know, just going out to squash somebody or whatever. Like these are veterans of the game, and she needs to be on point. I'm fully, you know, I just like you guys. I thought it should have just been 
Bianca and Jade versus um, Kyrie and Asuka. Easily mm-hmm. could have just had a women's tag match, highlight the women's tag titles, slap it on Bianca and Jade. I don't know, maybe that's too much for her, I guess, for her first match. But if she would have had a couple matches maybe leading to Mania, you know, it probably would have made more sense. But, you know, I guess you want to include all of Damage Control, especially with the aspect of Dakota Kai, you know, turning on Bailey and everything. So I guess it makes sense to do the three on three. But um, I am going to pick Bianca, Jade, and Naomi, but... A lot is riding on this, on what Jade is going to show the world, and especially on the biggest stage of them all. So we'll see. Who am I going to pick? Maybe <laughs> Dan. Maybe. I think you, you come on. I know am you're I, a giant Oscar fan, but in this situation, you really think she's going to get a win? Am I going away from Black Girl Magic? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Am I gonna do this? Remember, remember, Oscar's supposed to be a killer. So we can remember, remember, remember that. I know people are looking at this match and saying that, like, oh, look, look at these three compared to these three. Remember, Oscar's Whoa. supposed to be a killer. Size I'm advantage. First match, she is not losing. Size advantage, power advantage, melatonin advantage. <laughs> <laughs> melanin, my bad. Melanin, melanin melatonin. melatonin. Like, what? <laughs> Athleticism. <laughs> Am I going to pick damage control? No, there's no way I'm picking damage control. I'm picking the Black Avengers, <laughs> Bianca, Jade, and Naomi. Um, like, there's no way. Just from a just from a tactical advantage, like there's no injuries to Bianca or Naomi <laughs> leading up to this match. So there's no you can't play that angle. There's no dysfunction because it's like. Bianca and Naomi are part, per, pretty much in unison of going against damage control at this point, even though they're not cool with Bailey or whatever the case may be. But Jade, you add Jade Cargill to that mix, which I think is probably a smart move in terms of having it being a six women's uh, tag match. Because one, the best thing, that's the best way you can protect people. They can remember yeah. their spots. There's not much to go over in terms of if you were in fear of her messing up or anything like that. You can make up for it, cover it. In a tag match, like those are the best ways. Hardcore matches, tag matches, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, yeah, I'm going with Black Girl Magic on this one. I can't rightfully, even if I wanted to pick Damage Control, uh, want to pick uh, Oscar, Kari Sane, and Dakota Kai. Even though all of those women have looked good since coming back, um, Dakota Kai having an impressive match against Bianca Belair last week. Um, I really liked what she did in that match and showed that she can still go even off injury and stuff like that. So that was good to see from that standpoint. And I really want damage control to get a win of value, right? Cause it's kind of just been mosh pot victories here and there uh, with those wins tag titles. And it's like this, they've all just been helping EO just kind of just be, even though EO hasn't defended the title <laughs> in a while. Exactly. Um, <laughs> they kind of just been doing her 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 evil duties, right? So um at some point I want damage control to look good, but tonight that's not gonna be the night. You got Bianca on WrestleMania, <laughs> you got Jade Carl girl making her debut, you got Naomi returning. Unfortunately, damage control is gonna take the pin in this one. Nothing much else I can say. The, right. the only way I see damage control coming out on top. As if as if Jade turns on both turns on both of them and walks out of the match, which is possible. Oh, it's possible because Jade is a way better heel than she'll ever be as a babyface. Uh that is something that I've been thinking about. And I've been thinking about that for Bianca Belair, right? Like <laughs> that's what I've been saying for a while now. I wanted her to turn heel. She can't be heel, she has a TV show. <laughs> And she, she doesn't want to be. <laughs> she should. She should be heel because she should take out Naomi for siding with Bailey. That's a good angle. And Jade Cargill being this new up cup start, she can call her a knockoff of her or whatever the case may be, and start our heel turn. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, going black girl magic, man. <laughs> going black girl magic, yeah. pretty much. Well, I, I also just want to say, if Bianca and Jade are to go one on one. That first match needs to either be saved for SummerSlam, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. whenever they're overseas, whenever whatever event they're at that's overseas, or just save it for rest next year's WrestleMania. Which is, there's three. a lot of there's a lot Can't of be in Cleveland. 
<laughs> Wait, SummerSlam is still SummerSlam, though, so. <laughs> but in Cleveland? In Cleveland. <laughs> What's so great oh, about Cleveland? Oh, man. <laughs> I, I still heard say they went to Cleveland on vacation. I, I still, I still can't get over that. It's in Cleveland, man. No, 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 no disrespect. I, to Cleveland. I, I guess no. Cleveland has summer, right? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, course, apparently, there ain't nothing there but factories. <laughs> Industrial Revolution. <laughs> Why are we we're shitting on the common man on this podcast now? That's what we're doing. <laughs> When we have a son of a plumber in the main event, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, guys? Hey. I'm the heel on the show. That should be my, <laughs> my What are we doing? Oh, man. Oh, man. But, yeah, we're all going Black Girl Magic on that one. Um, let's get into the six 